Here is an application problem on cross product torque and this is for my friend who has been working very hard on internet and is really taking interest in most of the videos and I'm thankful to him for correcting some of the answers also you know sometimes in hurry I do a lot of mistakes the calculation mistakes and most of the time I avoid calculators uh, so they are about to happen but the idea here is to share with you the right kind of problems and their solutions so that you do better right and I'm very thankful to all the students who are taking interest and helping me out to give them better and better well this request has been pending for almost 20 hours now I'm myself working 20 hours to cope up and I hope and wish that this problem is of use to my friend the question here is 60 newton force is applied to one quarter of the way from the end of wrench 12 degrees from the vertical away from a bolt too many things in this right we'll read it once again the 30 centimeter wrench is positioned 16 degrees below the horizontal what is the torque on the bolt at the end of the wrench okay now read the problem once again to really understand what's going on 60 newton force is applied to one quarter of the way from the end of the wrench 12 degrees from the vertical away from a bolt the 30 centimeter wrench is positioned 16 degrees below the horizontal what is the torque on the bolt at the end of the wrench well this is one of the best problems which i've seen in the test papers and that is why i'm sharing it now first let me give you kind of a sketch which will help you to understand this problem so here we're talking about okay so let me just this is the horizontal line right and it says 60 newton force is applied to one quarter of the way away from the end of a wrench 12 degrees from the vertical away from the bolt the 30 centimeter wrench is positioned 16 degrees below the horizontal so let's first position our wrench right and then we'll move it right it's kind of like this so, so let's say this is the wrench right now it says the length of this wrench is 30 centimeter and it is positioned 16 degrees below so this angle here is 16 degrees and this length here from here to here is 30 centimeter right let's say 30 centimeter so difficult part here is to come up with the diagram right once you are able to make a diagram then it may be simpler so that is your 30 centimeter wrench and it is positioned 16 degrees below the horizontal now let's get back to the first statement which says 60 newton force is applied to one quarter of the way from the end of the wrench so this is the end of the wrench and force of 60 newtons is applied to one quarter of the way away way from the end of the wrench so that means one quarter of somewhere here right this is half and this becomes one quarter from this side that is the place where the force is being applied right let me call this point as point p right let me call this point as point p now if it is one quarter of the way here then this becomes three quarters right so this is like one fourth right so this becomes three fourth right so the distance from fulcrum to this point is three fourth of 30 centimeters right so let's figure out how much it is so three fourth of 30 centimeter let's say this point op is let me write op right it's already too complicated so try to simplify as much as you can now so that is 30 centimeters now important thing here is that when we are talking about newtons we need to convert the units also so we will write 30 centimeters as 0 0.3 meters right so fortunately I put a decimal here let me put brackets so that makes good right so 30 centimeter basically for us is 0.3 right so remember that part right always convert units to newtons and then we are meters so that is the unit we are working in right so 
So we get this distance and this distance is in meters. So now it's absolutely clear. It is this much of meters, right? Now, 60 Newton force is applied to one quarter of the way from the end of the range, 12 degrees from vertical away from a bolt. So from here, from vertical. So let's draw a vertical line here and then see what is happening. So we have this vertical line and the direction of the force is given to us is 12 degrees away. So it is like, like this, right? So let me join this. That is the direction of the force, right? And here, this angle is 12 degrees. Does it make sense to you? Have a good look at it. Try to understand what are we trying to do. Now read the problem again if you want to really correlate, right? 60 Newton force is applied to one quarter of the way from the end of the range, 12 degrees from the vertical, 12 degrees from the vertical, away from bolt, that is away from bolt. Do you understand? So this force is kind of like this, right? So what you expect here is, is this kind of direction. Is that okay? So that is what we're trying to visualize at present. Now I think the diagram is very clear. And now let's go to the next step. That is, what is the torque on the bolt at the end of the range? Now, you know what torque is, right? So first thing is you know what the torque is and let's write down the formula for torque at least and then we'll move forward. We say torque is equals to, it's a vector quantity and we're trying to measure the magnitude of torque. Is the magnitude of this distance where it is being applied and the force times sine theta where theta is the angle between, between this direction and the force, right? The two vectors. That is theta. When you place them tail to tail, that is very important. So whenever we are talking about angle between two vectors here, then we are always saying tail to tail. And let me make this a vector now because we are talking about this direction now, correct? Now, what I will do is I have messed up that diagram. So we will make a vector diagram right here. So we will translate all these things on this side and see if we can make come up with a neater stuff right so this is our 16 degrees and then we have this uh, horizontal 16 degrees right and we have some vertical line here and then then a force is acting so we will say that is that is the direction of this thing right and it's right going across like that and this force which is like from here 12 degrees right so that is the force acting right so this is the force acting in this direction and what we notice is this is 12 degrees since this is 12 vertically opposite angle will also be 12 degrees right now now what is this angle now the angle between the two forces is the vector this is my force correct and that is actually the direction of r now, the angle between the two is how much? That is, we're trying to see what is this angle. Now, how much is this angle? So, to figure that out, this kind of make a horizontal here also. Or well, this is parallel to this, right? So, this is 16 degrees for us, right? So, if this is 16 degrees, then with the horizontal, this is also 16 degrees, right? 16 degrees. So, the angle from here to here is actually 90 degrees, correct? It's 90 degrees and then we have, so this angle between the two vectors is, let me write down here, 90 minus 16, okay, and plus 12, that 12. Do you get the point? So it is 90 plus 12 minus 16. That is the angle and let me use the calculator this time because I know Mr. Gotham is going to put some remarks there saying this calculation is wrong, so I don't want that. So it is 86 degrees. 86 degrees is the angle between the two vectors. So I think we got the problem right. So we know what is the torque. So let's write down what the torque is. Now I think it's so simple. Torque is R, which we calculated here, which is 3 fourth of 0 0.30 and 
how many newtons 60 newtons 60 newtons right this is in meters correct and then we have 60 newtons of force okay and the direction is sine of uh, 86 degrees sine of 86 degrees so that is all we needed now we can multiply all these things and get our answer so our answer is okay so we do 3 times 0.3 times 60 divided by 4 equals 2 and we do times a sine of 86 sine of 86 and then equals 2 we get 13.467 13.467 so well this I can write this approximately as 13.47 Newton meter is it okay so that becomes the torque at this stage and that is the answer for your question so have a good look at it and I wish and hope this problem really helps you to understand the concept and gets you better marks. Thank you and all the best.